Then you spoke through a vision to your faithful followers and said, I have placed a young hero over a warrior. I have raised up a young man from the people. Psalm 89 verse 19 Why was Christ chosen out of the people? Speak, my heart, for the thoughts of the heart are the best. Was it not that he could be our brother in the blessed lie and ties of kindred blood? And what relationship there is between Christ and the believer? For the believer can say, I have a brother in heaven. I may be poor, but I have a brother who is infinitely rich and is a king. Will he suffer me to want while he is on his throne? Oh no, for he loves me, he is my brother. Dear brothers and sisters, this morning wear this blessed thought, like a necklace of diamonds around the neck of your memory. Put it like a golden ring on the finger of recollection and use it as the king's own seal, stamping the petitions of your faith with confidence of success. He is a brother born from adversity. Treat him as such. Christ was also chosen out of the people, that he might understand our wants and sympathise with us. He was tempted in all ways, just like us, and yet he did not sin. In all our sorrows we have his sympathy. Temptation, pain, disappointment, weakness, weariness, poverty. He knows them all, for he has felt all. Remember this, Christian, and let it comfort you. However difficult and painful your road, it is marked by the footsteps of your Saviour. Even when you reach the dark valley of the shadow of death, and the deep waters of the swelling Jordan, you will find his footprints there. In all places, wherever we go, he has been our forerunner. Each burden we have to carry has once been laid on the shoulders of Christ. His way was rougher and darker than mine. Did Christ, my Lord, suffer, and shall I repine? Take courage, for royal feet have left a blood-red trace upon the road and consecrated the thorny path for ever. Amen. Amen.